Mm. Wow, on, wow, on, what's great? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you very much for stopping by. My name is Chef Adrian Morris and you're watching Morris Time Cooking. As seen in the title and from that beautiful thumbnail, yes, today I'll be showing you how to make some Jamaican chicken pot pie, but not just any chicken, it's curried chicken simmer down in some coconut sauce. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. After the intro, we get right into it. We know about sardines, mackerel, chicken neck, chicken back. Nothing are waste, nothing are dash way. And we are back. As I said before, we're making a curried chicken pot pie. So without further delay, let's jump right into making that dough. So I have some cold for here, 250 grams. So I have some cold water, cold butter, and my cold flour, right? So two cups of flour. I'm gonna go in with a tablespoon and a half of sugar. I like to put sugar in my pastry because I like it to have a little touch of sweetness. To that, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt. Grab a fork and we're gonna mix that up. Eight ounces of butter, or you can say one cup of butter. When you, when you eat your apple pie, all of these pies, the crust, the patty, I have a video out on patty doing about four years now, or three years. These things have a lot of fat in the, in the dough, right? That's what makes them amazing and buttery. So the butter here, as I said, I put it in the freezer, so I'm gonna cut it up into small bits. You can grate this if you want to, or you can cut it up into small chunks and you're gonna realize why. As soon as I chop them, I drop them in your flour. What do you wanna do? I'm gonna mix that in. So you slightly break it up to resemble a rough looking breadcrumb consistency. All right, that looks good. Now we're gonna introduce about quarter cup of ice water and this will help to get that butter and flour cold again, right? But we're not gonna be using all of this at once. So you use about half the amount. We're just gonna bring that dough together nicely. Now it's not gonna be one of those kneaded dough. So you're not gonna be kneading this for too long. You just wanna bring it together. Just like you do um, a short crust pastry, which I have a video out on, right? So you do that, this, this dough similar to that one, just to bring the flour together like so. Cause the butter in it will help to mold this nicely. Gonna add just a touch more of that water. Nothing too crazy. Cause again, we don't want this dough to be too um, soft. Alright, bring that out on my work board. The butter helps to glue everything together. Shape that out into a nice square. In total, I think I use like two tablespoons of water if, if we're being accurate here. You just need enough to bring that dough together, right? Even if it's cracking up a bit, that's fine. I'm gonna put my dough on here. I'm gonna wrap this up in my plastic wrap. I'm gonna allow this now to chill in the fridge for about 30 minutes or an hour, depending because I'm gonna be working on the chicken. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the curry chicken. For the curry chicken, I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I already went ahead and washed it with some vinegar water, rinse it off, pat dry them, right? I'm gonna cut these into small cubes. Yeah, so we have two pounds of that chicken thigh, and there we go. Nice, small size cubes, like that. So once I'm done chopping this up, I'll show you how to season. So now we have that cut up, we're gonna season with a teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of dry thyme. If you have fresh thyme, use that. I don't have any fresh thyme. And we're going with a tablespoon and a half of all-purpose seasoning. One and a half tablespoon of curry powder. I'm going to reserve this half tablespoon. And a tablespoon of green seasoning. And you don't know, curry ain't complete without some scotch bonnet. This has already been washed. I put them in my freezer so it's a little bit soft. Because we're working with chicken thighs and they're a little bit dry, we're gonna drench a little bit of oil, about a tablespoon. All 
Our curry is nicely seasoned. I'm just gonna set that to the side. I'm gonna allow that to marinate a little bit. So we're back with the dough, almost an hour since it's been in the fridge. I'm gonna grab a little bit of flour and you're gonna dust your clean work surface. You can add a little bit to your rolling pin. My rolling pin is, pin is ceramic, so I don't need a lot on there. What you wanna do, you wanna roll this out into a nice rectangle. About 16 inch or so. So you roll that out. Gently, if you need to add a little bit of flour, do so, so it doesn't stick. So you wanna widen that. Release that from your board. Grab a little bit more flour on here. A bit more flour on top. And we're gonna roll. All right, so lengthwise, I want it to be at, as I said, at least a 16 inch or so. So we're gonna turn that lengthwise, roll it out. And about quarter inch thick. Get off the excess flour. So we're gonna wrap this in to the middle like so. If there's any excess flour, you're gonna brush that off. You can use your hands, but the hand is not as effective as the brush. And then you're gonna fold this in onto that end. Add a little bit of flour on here. And we're gonna roll that out. Same 16 inch that we went in with earlier. Gonna brush again. And then we're gonna fold again. So you do the same fold in the middle to the end. A little bit more flour. I'm gonna do this for about four to five times. When you do it four to five times or six times even, you get a nice layered dough. And this is what we want. Nice and beautiful. And we're gonna put this back into the fridge to chill out. Ensure that you close up these sides because we don't want any air going in. This is basically ready. You just chill this in the fridge for an hour, hour and a half and you should be good to go, no stress, nothing. And you have your perfect rough puff pastry, right? And there you go. All right, so to kickstart, I'm gonna go in with quarter cup of butter. The butter makes a difference in this recipe. So this is my curry spoon. Can you tell? I only use this spoon for curry. One diced medium white onion. I'm gonna get that butter cooking up those onions nicely. All right, we're gonna season that with a little bit of black pepper, about a quarter teaspoon and a half teaspoon of salt. So I always aim to season every layer of my food because I don't want to have the chicken well seasoned and then other stuff are bland. We don't work that way. So we'll just season that up nicely. We're gonna go in with the remainder of that curry powder and we're gonna toast that. So we'll allow that curry powder to toast. All right, that is toasting nicely. Now I'm gonna go in with my chicken pieces. Stir that up. So you're gonna leave that for about five to seven minutes. That will generate its own juice and then we're gonna continue from there. All right, so there we go. On medium low heat, we generate a little bit of liquid. That's what we want. Cook off that curry a little bit. Gonna add in two small diced potatoes. Emphasizing on the small, because we don't want too much in here, right? Give that a stir, ensure we get that nice curry color on them. Tablespoon and a half of all-purpose flour. Because we have the potato and the potatoes have starch, that will break down with the starch from the flour to give us a nice, because we're technically making a roux, but not in its um, best form, right? So we'll get that thick up a little bit. We're gonna go in two cups of chicken stock. So two cups of that chicken stock in. So we're gonna cook these now for about 10 more minutes on medium heat. I'm gonna cover that up. All 
All right, so we're back. Give that a stir. At this point, you can give that a taste. Thing is, you do not want this to get too thick because remember, it's gonna cool down and it's gonna bake. All right, and that potato, you don't wanna cook it all the way. That's gonna help to thicken this sauce, all right? Give that a taste. I need a little bit more spice in there. I'm gonna go in with my, with my pepper. Touch of salt. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit over a cup of corn and frozen green peas, right? We don't normally put green peas in curry, but this is the curry chicken pot pie. So we're gonna add that in. At the very last minute, these two are going to help to thicken. Here's a timer. These are gonna help to thicken up this as well. So you give that a mix. Look at that curry, how beautiful it is. And to that, now I'm gonna add half cup of coconut milk. It. And we stir that in at the very last minute. Just like that. Once this comes to a boil, we're gonna kill the heat. We're not gonna allow this to thicken up or anything like that. Reason being, as I said before, the more the potato cook is, the thicker it becomes and we want that to have a nice little sauce to it when we bake up everything. Trust me, follow these steps. Gonna leave this now to cool down. All right, so back now, we're gonna get that egg. So whisk that egg. Gonna dust with a little bit of flour, clean work surface. For this dough, I'm just gonna be using half of this dough. Cut that in half. Grab a little bit of flour on top, and I'm gonna roll this out now because we're about to make this pastry. So you roll that out nice into a nice square, thin enough, not too thin, not too thick. Grab the flour, add a little bit of flour on here. This dough is beautiful. Get that nice and flat. Cut that in half. Again, wanna get this nice and flattened. You wanna put your ramekin around and you're gonna do a measurement of a little bit wider than what your ramekin is. Just like so. Set that to the side. I'm gonna roll out that second piece. You can get that dough. Place that down into the ramekin. I'm gonna stuff that all the way down. Because some people like to have the crust at the bottom. Alright. Bring that on to the sides. And we're going to trim the excess off. So we're going to grab some of that chilled curry. Still somewhat liquefy. Going to get a good serving of the potato and the chicken. We're going to go in to the pastry. Potato, chicken, vegetable, everything goes in. We're not gonna bring it too high. And then we're gonna get a little bit of that gravy in there. As I said, this is 80% cooked. Cool. There we go. Egg wash. Gonna brush the sides of the bowl. Like so. And then we're gonna go on with that lid. And we're gonna Pinch it at the side. See ya. The egg will help us to seal off the side of that. And there we go. And we're gonna put this back into our fridge to just stay cool while we work on the remainder. All right, so my oven is now on 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Just gonna add a little bit of egg wash on top. This will help us to achieve a nice golden crust. Coming from the fridge, everything is nice and hardened. That's what you want. 
that's it pop it in the oven I have here an extra just gonna egg wash that one so 40 minutes in our oven and we should be good to go Here we go, set that to cool, trust me, let it cool. So what you want to do, you want to allow these to cool down for about 5 to 10 minutes, trust me, you don't want to dig right in, you're not going to enjoy it. Allow that to cool down to a, a little bit and then you should have your way, alright? What I'm going to explain to you now, all three of these, just to give you an example, what I did was, I put a slit in the top of this one right here, right? The ear escaped leaving it somewhat flat right however it had the dough on the edges this one i didn't put the dough over the edge i placed the dough on top of the interior dough still leave it um flat right this one however i put the dough all around the edges with no slit and that gave us the best one so that's nice puffy real when you look at that you see the puffiness because what happened the air goes in between the layers and puff that right up and there was no incision for the steam to escape. Hence, we get that nice puffy look and it bakes in that way and set right that way, right? So that's, there you go. So whichever one you want, if you want your pastry to be puffed up, you can do that one. If you want the extra pastry on the side to give it that extra crisp, you can do this one. Or if you just want everything to be ideal in the center, no extra pastry hanging off. You have all the pastry to enjoy and you don't want it to be too crisp then this is a good way to do it and if you want it to be nice and puff for the aesthetics of it then the third one here is the way to go but if you ask me i like all three yeah i like to have a crispy edge right i like to have it nice and flat and you're good to go there you go there you go so let that cool down now we're going to dig in Let us begin to dig in. Enjoy the fruit of our labor. Listen first. Nice and crispy, right? And you're gonna see the consistency inside. Yeah, man. Mm. Mm. Look, I just promise. You see that? Look at the sauce. Fitting. Comfort food at its finest. You see me? Curry sauce and no jow thing. See there? Drippy. Plus we have that crust on the side. Give that a taste. This is that proper one pot meal. Mmm. 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 -mm. Everything is perfectly cooked. We get some crust off the sides. See it there? Yes, see me? Mm -mm. Alright, man. I will finish up this thing, yeah? Eat and be merry. Mm. Thank you very much for watching. If you learned something new, don't forget to give the video a like. Leave a like on the video. If you love my vibe, hit subscribe. Please hit subscribe. Get us to 600,000 subscribers. This and many more dishes where this came from. I had in here we have new videos every single week. I think of curry and um, pie pie alone we have. We have apple pie. We have chocho pie. Or other pie we have. We have lots of cake on the channel. We have fried chicken for this. We have breakfast porridges, soups, rice dishes, the jerk dishes, the fish dishes, the shrimp dishes. The pasta series, so much more, man. Thank you very much for the love and the support. Honestly, I'm gonna be eating two of these right now. So sit down, I'm gonna properly enjoy this. Because this is what you call winter comfort food. Jamaican curry chicken pot pie. I thank you. Big up yourself. Enough love for love. It's until next time. See you, up on the gravel. And go and big up on yourself. Yeah, man. I. Right?